This is the first video in a series that will explain how to create a OpenGL project in Java using the Java OpenGL bindings provided by the JogAmp website. In order to start a project in Eclipse with the J -op Java OpenGL bindings, we need to first create a new uh, Java project. Now you need to navigate to that folder that your project was just created in Windows Explorer. So it'll be under your Eclipse workspace, wherever that happens to be, and in the Java OpenGL demo is what I called the project. Now in here you need to create a lib folder where we will download the uh, JOGL files to unzip and include in our project. Now, to download them, we need to navigate to the Jogamp website, jogamp.org, and we will download the Jogamp all file. Once that finishes downloading, we'll be able to unzip it using the 7-zip program, which can be found through a Google search or at 7-zip.org. Now that we've downloaded the Jogamp All Platforms 7-zip file, we're going to move it into a Java OpenGL folder inside of the lib folder that we created earlier. Now we can unzip that. 7-zip file using the 7-zip program. And in this folder we want to find all of the Java jars in the jar folder for our specific uh, operating system. So in this folder we need to select the GluGen, GluGen RT and then the natives that are appropriate for our operating system, Windows in this case, so Windows AMD64 and Windows i586.jar. As well, we also need to select uh, Jogo All and the Windows natives as well. We go down here to uh, Jogo All natives, Windows AMD64 and Windows i586.jar. Select all these. Now these need to be moved into the Jogle folder. Now that we move these into the Jogle folder, we're going to go back into the Jogamp All Platforms folder and select the sources for these jars. We'll need the GluGen Java source as well as the Jogle Java source. .zip. And just move these into the same fold, the same Jogo folder. Now, back in Eclipse, we need to refresh the project view so we can actually see these modifications that we've done. So to do that, select the folder and hit F5. You'll see that the lib folder pops up after we hit F5, and in it we have the Jogo folder as well. Now we want to change the build path to allow Java to see, or Eclipse to see all of the new jar files and their sources. So to do that, right click the project folder and hit um, build path, configure build path. Now we want to add the jars to libraries tab here and add jars. Then we go into our lib, jogle, and select all of the jars that we just added. Now that we've done that, we need to assign the sources to these native jars so we can actually debug our Eclipse is able to debug using the source of these jars. To do that, we will expand the gluegen.jar and the jogoall.jar and assign the sources using Eclipse's source attachment 
feature. So double click the source attachment and then browse to the location where, of the sources for the, that particular jar. In this case, glugen java source.zip. Now that we've done that, we can also go to the jogo all.jar source attachment, double click it, and browse to the correct location for the jogl sources. Now that those have been assigned, we'll apply and close. Now that we've finished uh, adding those libraries, you should now see a reference library tab drop down in the project. And if you expand that, you can see that our, uh, Jogo Glugen and the Jogo all.jar are both there, along with their natives for our operating system and architectures that we could target. And that should be it for installing uh, J the Java OpenGL bindings. Next video, we'll cover starting an actual project.